Out of the way, move it. Well, that can't be good. Wait, please don't take those parts. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Well, I don't care. <laughs> it can wait. I love my backpack. It's so compact. All right. Good to go there. I do want to go back here because I can now use cut. In, uh, outside, like, of battle. And there's this right here. Yes, please. Yeah, little Timmy. Ooh, nice. We got to revive. A totally useless item. AKA, it's money! We get to sell every revive we get. Because there's no reviving our Pokemon. Once they lose, they're dead. To me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so harsh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, there might be an item right there. There is a tiny mushroom. I think you saw those for Bimgoni. Nice. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, are you a trainer? Oh, the thing you have, it's a Pokenav Plus. That means you're a trainer. You should try this item. Oh, Miracle Seed, yes! Oh, I'm so glad I came back here. Yeah, I know it makes grass type moves stronger. Oh, it's the best. We just lucked out on that, guys. I didn't know that that was here. Uh, let's give that to Mo Mochi. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, that's where you evolve an Eevee. <laughs> great ball. Oh, nice. So if I find something I really, 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 really want, great ball. Gotti. Pretty good, guys. That's good. I can't. There's probably other trees to cut back there somewhere, but for now, we're going to move on. There was like a whole robbery scenario happening. I don't know. Um, first, though, I want to go to Pokemon. And then. Let's move Mo Mochi out of the front. We'll put Pip in the front with little Timmy. Well, let's put little Timmy, little Timmy in the front. And then, yeah, that looks good. I don't know. I don't know how long Gumball is going to be in the party. I won't lie to you guys. <laughs> I really don't like that Pokemon. And I'm only hoping to use it as like a shield or... Um until I can replace it, put it in the box, and let it live its happy life. If I don't get back, I'm going to be in serious trouble. You've been robbed? How'd you let yourself get robbed, man? Come on. At least I cleared this whole place out. But now I can do this and clear it out even more. Oh, what? No! I accidentally went to no. <laughs> there we go. Okay. It almost sounds like a, like a higher pitch thwomp noise. <clears throat> See what I mean? Oh, ether. Okay. Could be useful. However, these are useful. Chesto berries, I think, help you awake from sleep. Oh no, I didn't want that. We can check. Yep, sleep. Nice. Three berries. Okay. Fight me. I need my Pokemon to all be strong. 
and you can assist me in this endeavor. Go, little Timmy. You're like the worst right now. We're gonna yawn though. Damn, how did you avoid the attack, Timmy? He doesn't even know, he's just scratching his head. Um, go Pip. Damn, they keep missing with the stun spore. That's upsetting for them, I'm sure. Ha! Still sleeping like a loser. Wing attack. Boom. Shroomish fainted. Wismer. Uh, water gun. Ooh, water gun to damage. I'm not a fan of that move. The first hit did six. The second hit's gonna do more. If it got a second hit. <laughs> School kid Karen was defeated. I'm shocked. I lost. That's too bad. Fight me. Was this the guy that, uh, he looks like the same model of the, uh, trainer who failed, um, fighting my dad when we first met him. He had a Ralts too! Uh, just yawn. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I don't think I have anything that's particularly effective. I think the bug move might be good. Growl. Well then. Fury Cutter. If it's psychic like I find, I think it is. Oh, okay, it's not psychic. Maybe that's when it evolves. I could just be getting its typing wrong completely. All I know is that worked. <laughs> I slacked off in school. <laughs> All right, well. There you have it. Sure, what's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. The tunnel's filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. Could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that the goon will do something stupid and start all the Pokemon into an uproar. Mmm. Oh, what am I to do? We were just out for our walk, Pico and I, when we were attacked by an odd thug. And then the scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Where are you? Pico! Aw, oh, poor Pico. Something fishy about this spot. Well, I wouldn't know. Let's go in the cave, I guess. Ooh, item. I don't have rock smash. Pokeball. Oh. Oh, it's just a Wismer. Already caught it. Nothing special here. Can I make it? Can, can Timmy actually kill it? Yes, he can. Hey. Don't pound me. Oh, yeah, he has to loaf around for a turn, right? There we go. Good job, Timmy. Mochi's level 17 now. That's good. Oh, God. What? Are you coming? Come and get some, then. Yeah. 
Grr, Keyhaw at all, this hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway into this tunnel to nowhere. And you? Hey, you're here to battle me? Really? <laughs> Puchian. Little Timmy, a go. He's like, what up? Uh, you're just gonna yawn. And then we're gonna switch you out before you get killed by this evil monster. Yeah, because he's hurting you. Um... Mochi. I mean, my grow vial is like as big as a person. So... Damn! Plus Miracle Seed too, so just wrecked. You defeated Team Magma Grunt. Ugh, ugh. Is this the end of my evil deeds? For now. Just give me back what you stole. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some parts from Devon. <laughs> You want him back that badly, then take... Thank you. Hi, Pico. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. My, Pic my Pico owes you her life and freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so it's Othaya. It is, it is, is it now? I Then I sincerely thank you, Othaya. If there's ever a thing I can do to help you in turn, don't you hesitate to tell me. If I'm found, to, if I'm to be found, it will always be at my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico. High time. We're underway home. Okay. Oh. I don't have Rock Smash. No. Please don't be a Wismer. Damn it. There might be only Wismers in this cave, which would be super depressing. Because uh, I can't catch it. Because I already have one. Well I, don't, well, I could choose to catch it, but I'm not going to. I already have one. Don't want another. Give me a gold bat or something. Nope. Run. Okay. Raw, that goofy goon hightailed it out of the tunnel. I can go back to digging. That you can. And I can exit the quick way. Get rid of these trees. Oop. Nice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh. Hey, man. Oh, how did it go? Did you get my Devon parts? You did! You got them back. You really are a great trainer, and I know. As my thanks, I'll give you a great ball. Nice. Great ball obtained. Oh, yes, young man. Please come with me. This is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I can tell you, I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for our company. Could you just wait here for a moment? Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Cool. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I heard just how we have quite a bit, uh, quite a bit to thank you for. So you help out my staff, not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask a of a reliable trainer like you. 
Now I want you to know I'm a president you can trust. I'd never be so mean as to ask a favor for nothing in return. Here, give me your Pokenav Plus for a moment. Mr. Stone updated your Pokenav Plus. You can now use the BuzzNav function on your Pokenav Plus. That function I just added to your Pokenav Plus is called BuzzNav. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer who is traveling out in the world. Use it and you'll be able to get the latest news from around the region and from your own friends anytime, anyplace. Now let me get to the important issue of what I need you to do. I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask you to deliver this letter to the man named Steven. Look at that smirk, look at that smug smile. You should find him in Duford. You'll have to cross the sea to reach Duford, of course. I'll ask Mr. Brownie, the old sailor who lives in that hut on Route 104 to help with the crossing. Go find him and he should agree to help you. I'm counting on you, young man. And if you're ever unsure of what to do again, just come and talk with me again. Mr. Brownie is an old and dear friend of Mr. Stone's. The two of them, along with one other friend, used to travel all the corners of the world together in their youth. Nice stones, man. Really, you just gave me an, an additional... It's like you gave me an app and said it was a gift. <laughs> I don't really need the app, man. Although, I mean, we could look at the news, right? Nah. This is an HN special report. The Pico napping incident that became top headline not that long ago has been resolved thanks to the brave actions of one young trainer. Oh, age 72. Goddamn. Hey, do you have anything for me? I don't know, like, I haven't much headway. Aw, that's too bad. Revealing device for talking with Pokemon. That'd be cool. I can't lose this race. I think we're good to go. Oh, it's me. Oh, hey, Othaya. Have you been catching lots of Pokemon? I'm doing pretty good on that front, at least. I caught so many Pokemon in Pelleberg Woods, I ran out of Pokeballs. Oh, yeah. And I passed by Mr. Briney when I was in Pelleberg Woods. Hmm. I guess he must have been on his way home to his cottage on Route 104. You just moved here, so there's no way you could know, but Mr. Briney was once a highly respected seafarer. Really, nothing? Alright, May, thanks, though. Huh. We'll pop by the, uh, the old Pokemon Center and get everyone boosted back up. So, I need to go back to his cottage. Boing. Hey, what's over here? Here, I'll switch back to the map, guys. There we go. <laughs> so it's not a constant distraction. Oh yeah, his house is right here. What up? Hey, stop chasing your bird. Hold on last, but lay that Pico. Oh, if it ain't Othaya, you're the one who saved my Pico. Aye, but we owe you for that day. What's that? You want to sail with me? What's this all about? A letter bound for Duford? Certainly, that'd be no problem at all. You've come to the right man. Shall we hoist sail for Duford at once? Uh, yeah. Duford, we're a-coming. Anchors away. Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. Hell yeah, guys. I don't even know if I have anyone that can use Surf once we need it <laughs> at this point. Boom. We're off to Duford, guys.
We've struck a land in Dufoot, lad. I suppose you'll be heading ashore to deliver the letter to what's-his-name or whomever. <laughs> if you're ever feeling lost and adrift, though, try calling in on the island's Pokemon Gym. The leader Brawly surely knows everyone and everything that goes on in his town. But I have to beat everyone in his gym probably to talk to him. Including him. If something goes trendy here, everyone gets up on it right away. Really. Even if Pokemon faints and can't battle, it can still use HM moves through a miracle. As long as you have Pokemon by your side, you can go over language barriers and meet many different kinds of people. I agree. At the edge of town, there's a cavern known as Granite Cave. I heard you can find rare stones there. Interesting. Let's save real quick, guys. We're in a whole new town. Hold on, I'm pretty sure there's someone who gives a move or something around here. This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? Yeah, I heard, I hear you and I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. Yes. Yes. As a little ad boson, I'll even throw in a little fishing advice. First, you want to face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind and if you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can snag something immediately, but with bigger catches, you need time the, to time the pulls on your rod to haul them in. Nice, so I can catch something because I'm in town. Um, let's see here. Bag. I want old rod to register, please. Thank you. Uh, yep, there we go. Let's see what happens. We gotta catch this, whatever it is. Oh, magic car! I mean, it's not the, it's, I mean, it's not great, but I'll take it. Level 10 too, I mean, let's just, you know, let's yawn it. Does Splash ever do anything? I feel like it never, it, it just doesn't do anything, right? Like, it's just useless. It's faster than Timmy, though, which is so disappointing for Timmy. <laughs> okay, I need you to stay asleep while I cut you. That sounds like a horrible sentence. <laughs> I'm gonna try a Pokeball. because it's asleep and I didn't want it to wake up before I at least attempted it while I was asleep once. Nice, we got it. So we got ourselves a magic carp, something that will probably become a Gyarados on our team because I don't have any reason not to have him on my team in compared to Gumball, so. <sighs> Registration completed. Magikarp is a pathetic excuse for a Pokemon that is only capable of flopping and splashing. This behavior prompted scientists to undertake research into it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna name him. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Sh sh I'm just gonna sound it out. Shnoo. So, like, shnoo. Zhu, snoozu, snoozu, <laughs> snoozu. That works, right? Snoozu, because it's not the most interesting fish. But oh god, it was transferred to the graveyard. That's not right. We gotta fix that immediately. It's probably because that's the last box we used. We can fix this. Um. Let's just withdraw. Oh. Organize boxes then, fine. One, we're gonna move you to that. And we're gonna title this box. Uh. Friends. Perfect. 
so we're gonna move those two. Wow, it really only knows split. <laughs> It's so useless, <laughs> but I still want it more than I want Wismer. <laughs> oh, I really don't like Wismer. Okay, um, let's heal everyone up. All right, we do have a spare Pokemon though in the wings. We got Gumball resting in the nice forest. Wait, will anyone give me shit here? You got stuff for me? Oh no, I already talked to everyone here, right? Never mind, never mind, we're fine. Okay, but we got our fish Pokemon from the town here. What's in here? Hello. There's a lot to be said for living on a small island in harmony with my Pokemon and my family. When I married my husband, I moved here from the large port, uh, port city of Slateport. Life goes by slowly on this little island. But being surrounded by the beautiful sea, that's a kind of happiness, too. I agree. There would be positives and negatives to living on a small island area. For sure. What's in here? Feast your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. It's the cutting edge of fashion. Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. What a delight you are. Here, please, I want you to have it. Oh, nice. We got a silk scarf, guys. A silk scarf raises the power of normal type moves. It's a marvelous scarf that will go with almost all Pokemon. Wow, you bothered across the sea to visit Duford? Are you here because you heard about Brawly? He's so cool, everyone idolizes him. All right, perfect guys. We now have an item for little Timmy. Um, we're gonna give him the silk scarf. And then we'll give it a quick claw to Snoozy. <laughs> That's really pointless. It really is. Everyone exchanges information here. The Duford Hall. Of course, the trend right now is potion festivals. A life without potion festivals is unthinkable. I wonder if there's anything on TV about potion festivals. Yeah, are, there, are potion festivals even trendier overseas? I don't think so, guys. I've been doing some research on trendy potion festivals. Is it true that there's a deep relationship between potion festivals and part-time jobs? What is that so? It's not easy for an old fellow like me to keep up with these new trends. I've been telling Pokemon about po I've been telling Pokemon about potion. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty tough though. Yeah, I wonder if they even understand or care. I'm collecting tons of Potion Festival stuff. I got Potion Festival dolls, Potion Festival clothes, Jesus Christ, and picture books. I bet you're jealous. You can't have them no matter how much you beg. I'm good, kid. Thanks, though, I guess. I saw those Potion Festivals. Jealous? The real thing was awesome. Really cool. <laughs> okay, then. What's happening happen trendy? Have you heard about potion? Of course you know. I mean, potion vessels are the hardest thing in... No. Huh? It's not the hip and happening thing. Hey, you have to tell me what's in. Um... What's in, guys? What, what's in? Right now. Tiny mushrooms. <laughs> Tiny mushrooms, huh? What's popular about them? <laughs> Tiny mushroom parties. Oh yeah, I know about those tiny mushroom parties, right? They're the coolest, aren't they? They're the hippest thing in the hip these days. There's no way I wouldn't know about them. Potion festivals are so yesterday's news. It's tiny mushroom parties in time now. <laughs> yeah, just don't eat them, man. Oh, Route 106. 